Hey guys, so we're in my basement here and as you can see I have these fluorescent lights. Now as the bulbs burn out, I'm replacing them with these LED shop lights. And these work well, but they cost about $50 each. Well, I think you can get them now. I think you can get them now for around $45 at Walmart. But still, I think I still think that's too expensive. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but some of the LEDs are starting to burn out. One of them's gone right there, and another one looks like it's on the way out. So, you know, $50 for these lights, and they're starting to burn out. So instead of buying more of those $50 LEDs that are starting to burn out, I went on Amazon, and I bought these LED strip lights. These LED strip lights. These are 5630s. These are supposed to be ultra bright, but I guess we'll find out. These cost about ten dollars for five meters. So for five meters, this costs ten dollars. And the ballast here, or the um, AC adapter, AC to DC adapter, I think this costs another eight dollars. So eighteen dollars for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these LEDs. Actually, I got these connectors too, which are really cool. I'm not even going to have to solder these. I just cut this, cut these uh, strips here. And I put it here and I close it and I connect the other side to the other side of the strip and boom that's it no soldering easy peasy done so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these LED strips and this double stick tape on the back and I'm gonna stick them to one of these fluorescent lights that have that don't have any bulbs in them so and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and measure and find out how much light we're getting out I got an app for my tablet here that's going to give us a reading. I'm not sure how accurate it is, but hopefully it's the same uh, inaccuracy for each one of these lights. But first let's get a reading on one of the fluorescent lights and see how much output there is on these lights. So I turned out all the lights in the basement and I have this light meter here centered right underneath the fluorescent light. So. It looks like we're getting a reading of 95 lux and that is at 80 watts. These fluorescent bulbs are 40 each so 95 lux at 40 watts. So we're gonna go ahead plug in the LED light, turn off this fluorescent light and we're gonna get a reading with that. Okay same deal here except this is the LED shop light. We've got the meter centered underneath the light on the floor and we're going to go ahead and take a look see what the reading is. It looks like we're getting 358 lux, 359. So you can see why these LEDs are so desirable. This is 40 watts now, this LED shop light, versus 80 for the fluorescent. And the shop light is putting about 3.6 times more, the, more light out for half the wattage. So that's a considerable difference. Let's go ahead and put together the LED strip shop light. And once we're done putting that LED strip light together, we'll go ahead and measure that. Okay, first let's establish whether or not these $5 connectors work. They should. Um, seems pretty simple. You'll have to remember to keep positive to positive, negative to negative. So let's connect this, this side that's not hooked up yet to the power. There we go. They do work. And it was much easier than soldering. Okay, let's get the last one connected. And then we'll just stick them right to this shop light fixture. Great. And they work. The most important thing to remember, of course, is these are LEDs, so the diodes are they're only going to allow current through one way. So you have to remember to keep your positive to your positive and your negative to your negative. And, um, and if you do that, everything is going to work just fine. Now let's stick these to the shop light fixture.
This is the cord from the old chop light. We don't need that anymore. <clears throat> So now I'll just throw a, throw a hole through the end of this cap here so that way I can put this adapter for the transformer through it. Okay, so here we have the homemade strip LED shop light and we have it up and plugged in. You can see the three rows of LEDs. I've got the light meter centered on the floor just like before. So now let's take a look and see what kind of a reading we're getting. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. We're only getting 205 lux out of these LEDs. I kind of want to see the same reading as the store-bought LED shop light. So I have about three feet left of those of these LED strips. So I'm going to take this down. I'm going to put them on and I'm going to see if that makes a major difference in the amount of light output. Okay, so I put the last strip of LEDs on this four foot fluorescent light fixture. Let's take a look, see how much light we're getting out of this. So it looks like we're getting 239 lux out of this 5 meters of LED strip light. And that's not exactly where I want it to be. I wanted to see it at least match the store-bought shop light. I took the light down and we're going to test how many amps these strip lights are pulling. Uh, what I did was I found an old connector that I connected to the strip lights and to the transformer. I just kind of jammed this in there. Hopefully that stays. So we're pulling around two and a third amps at 12 volts. So that works out to be around, what does that work out to be? What's that gonna be? That's gonna be around 28. Um, we're pulling 2.33 amps times 12 volts, so that's going to be 28 amps we're pulling. So actually, it's right on par. Um, it seems like these strip lights are right on par with these shop LEDs. So let's actually crunch the numbers and see how many lumens we're getting per watt. The sticky tape on the back of these strip lights is already peeling off. I put some double-sided tape to hold them in place in a couple spots, but it looks like eventually they're all going to fail and I'm going to have to double stick tape it up. I kind of expected that, but not this quickly. Okay, so I just figured out how many lux per watt we're getting for each one of the lights we tested. Of course, the fluorescent was the worst. We had 98 lux at 80 watts, so that works out to just about one and a quarter lux per watt. Um, and that's pretty terrible compared to the other two. The store-bought LED was 380 lux at 40 watts. You know, I didn't really test the wattage like I did with the strip LED on either the fluorescent light or the store-bought LED, but I'm going to go by their stated wattages. It came to 360 lux at 40 watts, so that works out to be 9 lux. So just for a quick the strip LED, we measured at 240 lux at 28 watts. So that works out to 8.6 lux per watt. Uh, I was at first a little bit disappointed when I measured the light output of the strip LED. It turns out it's just an insignificant difference away from the store-bought LED at less than half the price. So that gives you a pretty good idea as to how good these LED lights are compared to fluorescent. So you're getting eight times more light per watt for the LEDs than you are for the fluorescent lights. Overall, I would do this project again for the 10 minutes it took to put all these components together. I mean, realistically, it's, it's plug and play. So it's very easy to put together. I would do it again. One last thing before I go. I wanted to show you all what my next project is going to be or actually what it's going to be made out of. I picked up this workout bench on the side of the road because I saw it and it looked like it's got some really good steel on it. It's got some angle, it's got some flat stock, it's got quite a bit of tubing. And the best thing is, is this tubing slides in and out. Well, there's a pin in there, but it slides nicely in and out. So I'm in need of a 2x72 belt grinder. So I'm going to build the belt grinder out of this bench. Don't forget to subscribe so that way you can check it out when I post a video. Thanks for watching.